there. Today's video is going to be a s'mores recipe. I absolutely love s'mores during the cold season, during winter, and I have already done s'mores cupcakes before. So today we're gonna do mini s'more cups. You can do them in a regular size cupcake pan. I'm doing them in a mini cupcake pan. It's gonna be a little graham cracker cookie, some ganache in the center, and fluff on top. As always, everything you're gonna need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this. We're gonna start by getting our cupcake tray. I'm using a mini cupcake one. You can use a regular size. I'm adding a little bit of butter to this. This is optional. If you have a non-stick pan, you don't need to do this. Mix your flour together with your graham cracker and add in your spices, your salt, baking soda, cinnamon, and allspice. Pour that in there and whisk it together. And then we're gonna put this aside, get another bowl, mix in your butter, and soften that up. Don't forget your spatula to scrape down the bowl. Add in your granulated sugar and your brown sugar. Mix this together. You want it to come together until it's light and fluffy. Add one egg to this and combine well. Scrape your bowl one more time. And then add in your vanilla extract. Mix that together. Combine in your dry ingredients and combine well. And don't forget that spatula one more time. And then we're gonna place this aside. Get your cupcake tray batter. I'm using a mini scoop. All the information is in the description box for what I am using. Scoop out this into the pan. And then with a one teaspoon, I push down the batter. Baked it at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Took it out at eight minutes to give that little dent into the cup so that it would cook a little better. And then let them cook off for another two to three minutes. And then I made my ganache. I got my chocolate chips and my heavy cream, warmed that up and then poured it in. If you don't notice it mixing well, you can always stick it in the microwave for 10 second intervals. And then once it's cooled, I place this into a piping bag for easier control. Got my cups after they had completely cooled and then started pouring the ganache in each cup and then placed it in the fridge for about an hour or so just to let this harden. And then I put the fluff in a piping bag with a circle tip and started to pipe out some of that. And I got my turntable here and I got my torch. Place one of the s'mores cups onto there and slightly torch your marshmallow fluff. If you want to buy store bought, you can, just be careful it is runny. If not, I will leave my recipe for marshmallow fluff. And here are the s'mores cups. And that's how you make these mini s'more cups. I do recommend if you want to serve these later on, you can stick the ganache and the graham cracker in the fridge overnight into the next day and then add the fluff. I do recommend making your own fluff as store-bought fluff is a little more runny than homemade. And I will leave my recipe down below and the video for the s'mores where I did show you how to make that fluff. If you want to suggest something else, leave it in the comments down below. If you want to see pictures of these cups and everything I make, I do post on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram and Twitter. All those links are down below as well. If you enjoyed this recipe, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date with what I post, hit subscribe. And until next time, stay sweet.